Welcome, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good. I am fine, teacher. Oh, nice. Good to see you. Good I am a, teacher. Yeah, I am a little late today. Creo que ahora llegué un poquito tarde. I'm a little late today. Uh, oh, my on time. Goodness. On time, right? I am on, on time. time. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you. Hello, Darwin. Hello, teacher. How are you? Thank you very much. How are you? Uh, a good day. Oh, nice. Very good. Osmin, hello. Asalia, hello. Ana. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are hello, you doing? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good Hi. evening. Hi, good evening, everybody. Thank you, teacher. My goodness, good evening. How are you doing? Aquí todavía peinado. I always, I, I, I run it always. Así sería. Sorry? Siempre corriendo, siempre corriendo. In a rush. You can say in a rush. In a rush. In a rush. Uh, yeah. Yo pensé que se podía decir la misma. Running. No, running is like siempre, corriendo. But... Siempre, siempre estoy corriendo, siempre estoy corriendo. You can, uh, you can say I'm always in a rush. I'm always in a rush. I I am always in, in a, a rush. rush. Like this. Let rush. me let me in write it for you. Like this. Okay. I, I am always in a I'm always in a rush. In a rush. Yeah. I'm always in a rush. Siempre corriendo. Siempre de prisa, siempre corriendo. Yeah. Uh, uh, for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. So uh, we have, um, let me see. We have Gloria. Hello, Gloria. Hello, Gloria. Hello. Fine. How are you? I'm fine. Thank oh, you. Nice. Nice. Good to see you. Okay. okay. Bueno, de los que están acá, ¿cómo van con la plataforma? Ya terminado, ready? Ya. Yeah. Finish. Ready. I am done. You can say I have fin I finished. Yeah, I finished. I It's finished. okay. I finished. You can say I already finished. Already is like ya. Ya terminé. I, I already I finished. I already, I already finished. Already. Yes, I, I already finished. I already finished. Yeah. Good evening. Ajá, ya terminé. Ajá. I already okay. finished. Yeah, from here, maybe um, only Ophelia, I guess it's missing something, part of it. Hi, Ophelia. But I think she's not, well, she's connected, but she's not in the class. Okay, anyways. Hello, Michelle and Miguel and Jancy. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? You're fine. You, teacher. I'm very well. Thank you. Jancy, how are you doing? <laughs> ah, nice. You too. Very good. Michelle, how's everything? Yes. Good. <laughs> oh, nice. It's good to see you. So we are about to start. Um, today, today is the last day for week number three, section number two, right? Yeah. Week number three of class. It's not Friday, okay? It's the last week of class, all right? Uh, the, the, I mean, the, the, second, the, the end of the second week of class, okay? Or section two. Okay, so we are going to start, and for this, I am going to pass the attendance first, okay? So let me look for the attendance, and I pass it. Okay, Ada? Here, teacher. Adriana? Ana Michelle? Present. Angela? Present, teacher. Darwin? Present, teacher. Flor? Gloria? Here. Joanna? Lourdes? Margarita? Here. Mayra? Okay. Um, Mayra? Yeah, yeah. Mayra is not connected. Miguel? Present. Okay. Nelson? Ophelia? 
Sí, teacher. Ofelia le falta el mitro, en verdad. Sí, teacher. Ah, ok. Sí, este, vamos a ver si sí, por aquí tome notas para recordarles. Ok, thank you. Osmin. Good evening. Good evening. Rafael. Rosa. Sandra. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Jancy. Present. Zulma. Present. Azalia. Present. Okay, thank you. Ingrid, good evening. Ingrid, no, right? And Susana. No. Okay, everyone. So uh welcome to this uh to this session. To this, this is the 15th session of the of the of the level, all right? The 15th session of this module, all right? Es la, es la sesión 15 del módulo, is session number 15th, okay? Uh, so welcome to the class. And today we finish uh, unit number two and we have some practical activities for today. So for today, for today, I am not going to speak very much, all right? I am not going to speak very much. You are going to work and you are going to speak, all right? And I am going to, to monitor your work, okay? So um, so let's start then and for the, sorry, uh, for the first activity, uh, I, I, I want to ask first, uh, what is a survey? Any idea? Survey, what is survey? Survey. Survey. Survey, survey. Do I write it for you like this? Look, let me write it for you here. Let me write. Okay, hold on a second. Like this. Encuesta, teacher. Ah, good. Okay, survey, like this. Survey, who is saying it's encuesta? Who said the answer? Who said the answer? Who said the answer? Was Miguel, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, yeah, yes. survey, survey is encuesta, survey, survey, okay, yes. encuesta. So uh, the, the question is, have you ever taken a survey? ¿Alguna vez han tomado una? Have you ever taken a survey? Yes, no? Yes, teacher, yes, teacher. Yes, Miguel says yes, where, Miguel? Uh, every, every month, every says, uh, week. So in your a, a survey. Yes, in my company uh -huh, have a service. Okay, very good. A weekly and a monthly survey. Yes. Okay, very good. What about the others? Have you ever taken a survey? Any survey? Cualquiera, any survey. Que, que hayamos tomado una encuesta o que nos yes. hayan hecho una encuesta. Si han tomado alguna encuesta. Have you ever taken a survey? La encuesta de satisfacción. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, the, the satisfaction survey. All right. Yeah, that's yes. okay. Yes, teacher. All right. Where, Angela? In, in my company, um, <clears throat> como diría, quiero ver. No es siempre, sino que algo más. Sometimes? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, uh -huh. You can say we sometimes take surveys in my company. We sometimes, we sometimes take, take surveys, surveys in, in, in my company. company. All right, de, very good. De, de los proveedores, más que todo. Ah, okay, de from provide. the providers. From the providers. Or suppliers, yes. suppliers. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you very much. And the others, have you ever taken a survey? No, never. Yes, I take. Okay, Zulma or Zulma, right? Yes. Okay, you take surveys. Uh, where? Uh, in my workplace. Mm, okay. Uh, every year, human resources pass a, a satisfaction a survey. Survey, survey. Okay, very good. That's excellent. So survey is encuesta, okay? Now, the question is, uh, do you listen to the question? 
Do you sometimes take surveys in restaurants? Do you take surveys in restaurants? Do you take? Take. Do you take? Or I will change it. Do you do? Okay. Do you do surveys on restaurants? In restaurants, sorry. Yes. For example, in a pizza hut. We will compare. Yes, they sometimes pass surveys, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Now I am asking these questions about surveys because okay, here. Okay, let me show you here. Here on page number 23, we have a little survey, okay? And this is a satisfaction survey, a satisfaction survey, okay? And this use, and listen, you are going to uh, do two things in groups, okay? Two things you are going to do in groups. Thing number one, you are going to complete the spaces on the survey using this vocabulary, okay? Using seated, beaches, dining, taking, okay. and, and server, okay? So please complete the information on the spaces, okay? That's number one. Thing number two, check the new vocabulary and pronounce the items. Check the new vocabulary and pronounce the items, okay? First, complete the survey with the vocabulary. Second, uh, uh, please pronounce, okay? I said pronounce and check the new vocabulary, okay? Pronounce and check the new vocabulary. Any question? This is on page number 23, okay? It's on page number 23. Any question? No? So you decide how to do it, okay? So you can complete uh, the spaces together in groups and then you take turns to pronounce. Y luego pronuncian, okay? Then you take turns to pronounce. Todos en el grupo deben pronunciar. Everybody needs to pronounce in the group, okay? And you check the new vocabulary together. Revisan el nuevo vocabulario juntos, okay? Any question? Okay, teacher, no teacher. No question? No. No. no question. Okay, so let's go to working groups. Hello, Joanna. Hello, Nelson, Mayra, Ophelia. Um, how are you going to do it? Um, answer the answer. Creo que es contestar primero. Um, answer. Answer. Okay. Answer. Yes. Um. Um. Uh, the question. Oh, one for one or, or only, only answer? Cada uno, cada uno lo contestamos. We don't know. Yes. Bueno, entonces cada uno. Okay. okay. Eh, eh, teacher, y este de un solo a la hora de estar contestando, de un solo se le va a hacer el, el, el uh, dice gris, el agri, el eh, de un solo o solo los las palabras. No, you don't have to answer the survey. It's only answering, it's only answer, uh, I mean completing the spaces, okay? 
<laughs> only complete the spaces. Like, let me share here. Um, okay. You're going to complete the information here only, okay? Okay, thank but you. But you are not going to answer the survey. La, la, no van a contestar las encuestas. It's only to complete the sentences with the vocabulary. Seated, beaches, okay. dining, okay? Okay, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how do you say oraciones, teacher? Sentences. sentences. Yeah, sentences. sentences. Okay. Sentences. Is sentence five? No, 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 no. Answer, no, 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 it's only for number one, two, three, four, and seven. Okay. 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 For five and six, you don't need anything. Okay. But for number seven, yes, you do, you need something to complete. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Yeah, tell me, Rafa. Can you add me, please, the, in the prayer room? You are with Ada, right? Rafa? Es, es, I, I, you are with other, right? I connected right now with, with uh, of my computer. Yeah, yeah, but you are with other, right? Está, está con other, right? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Ready, Rafa. Thanks. Okay. Recording in progress. Sorry. El pedido. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Lava. La tres sería Cocinaron a tiempo de. No, la three is taking. The server was friendly and fashion when taken for order. Sí. Taking. El cuarto. El momento de la de la de la perfectamente. A tiempo de la dining or server cosmetic design. Ajá, dining board. Or server cosmetic design. Okay. Oh, the dining. Ajá, dining. Dining. Ajá, I think. For server, coordinate the timing of this dining perfectly. Perfectamente. Coordinaron el tiempo de la, de la cena. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, la última sería considerando que 
cons considering everything or um, or am I? Solo queda dicho. Ah, no, no, no. No. Maybe number four is or several coordinate the timing of the dishes. And the, the last, considering if everything or dining experience was a good value. I don't know. We were seated. The number one is we were seated. Seated, seated. Yes, number one, seated. Uh huh, seated. We were seated from. Number two, the, the server was there to pay all the quick. The server was friendly and patient when taking all the order. Ajá. Pero la última no se escribe. I think that is dining. Number four, the or table. server, uh -huh, number four, or server coordinate, coordinate the timing of the dishes. Yo creo que es dishes. El mesero coordinó el tiempo de los platos. Ay, no sé. De los Ajá, platos. Sí, 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 sí. Perfectamente. The server was able to answer the question. Overall, the service was excellent. Considering everything, our dining experience was a good value. Okay. Entonces, four dishes. And uh -huh. and four dishes. Dining. Uh -huh. um, dish. Is dining teacher or dining? Dining. 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 Okay, dining. Dining room. Uh huh. Like the dining room. And when you say dinner, I mean you don't say. Uh, in this case, you don't say di uh, dine. You say dinner, right? Cena. But in this uh -huh. case, it's dining. Uh huh. Okay. As an adjective, it's dining. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why? Why change? Because diner and dining. I don't know. <laughs> lunch doesn't change. Lunch, yeah, lunch. What, I, what I know is that the, the talking about grammar, uh, the, the, the function of the word in grammar is different. Okay, that's what I know, uh -huh. but for the pronunciation, uh -huh. I don't know why it's different. Okay. Yeah. The pronunciation, the first word, serious. Which one? The first one. The first word? Promptly. Promptly. Uh, we were seated promptly. Promptly. Seated. 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 We were seated promptly. Seated. 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 Like tea. Seated. Yeah. Seated. 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 Uh -huh. seated, seated. Promptly. Uh -huh. We were seated, seated. promptly. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. When prompt, you finish, prompt, uh, prompt, me. prompt me. When you finish, check the new vocabulary and pronounce, okay? Okay. 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 Uh, can, can we... 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 Um, en, uh, en las, ¿cómo se llaman? En las oraciones hay unas donde hay que rellenar según los cuadros, ¿verdad? Pero hay unas que no tienen, que me imagino que son, son las del cuadro derecho, en las que están enumeradas. Six and seven. Five and yes. six. Five and six, right? Y yes. No, no, I mean, for that, no problem. Only complete number one, two, three, four, and seven. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. Okay. Yes, you need to complete okay. on the spaces, the information on the spaces. It can be server, uh, seated, cualquiera de las palabras que están arriba. Okay. Okay. Y... Um, Okay, o sea que las la, donde dice acuerdo, desacuerdo, total no, no, acuerdo, eso no, 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 okay, okay. not that. Okay, okay, thank you. So, yeah, basically you only need to complete the spaces here, for example, here, uh, here, uh -huh. uh, here, uh, here, here, and here. Okay, ah, pues sí. Yeah, that's it. Thank when, you. When you finish, check the new vocabulary yes. and pronounce. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, finish the, the, the complete. Uh, okay. Pronounce, vamos a practicar ahorita. Okay, you, you practice pronunciation yes. at this moment. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, sí. Uh, teacher. Uh, seated, con, sí, seated. 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 We were seated promptly. 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 Okay. We were seated promptly. Prom promptly. Promptly, uh -huh. promptly, es como eh, rápidamente, right? Promptly, uh -huh. promptly, promptly. Uh -huh. we, were, Prontamente. we were seated promptly. Promptly, promptly, exactly. The server was there to take our order quickly, yes? Yeah. Okay. The server was friendly and... Patient, violent? patient. patient. Patient way taking world order. Exactly. Okay. Over server coordinated the timing. Timing, yeah. Time, it's the timing it's the of the dining. The, the dining uh, per, perfectly. Ditches. Perfect. Ditches. Ditches. Yeah, ditches. Oh. Yes. Main cor correction ahí. <laughs> okay. Ditches. Okay. Ditches. Dishes, mm -hmm. dishes. Um, the server was a, 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 a very able, able um, to answer to answer all, all question. And overall, overall, yes. Overall, the service was excellent. Mm -hmm. Considering everything else in time. <laughs> Dining, dining experience. Dining experience was a good value. 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 Okay, okay. Okay, continue. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Bye, yeah. Don Osmin. Yeah. Next. Okay. Okay. You, porque no, eso no lo, no lo sabía. Okay. Uh, number uh, uh, five. The service was table. To answer all our question. Number six. Overall, the services was excellent. Mm -hmm. Number consider considering everything our dining experience. Dining. dining, dining. Experience was a good value. Dining. Mm -hmm. Dining, yes, is, is correct, that, teacher. Okay, it is. It is correct. You say dining experience. Dining, dining experience. experience. Yeah. Okay. And I, uh, I say something to Gloria because uh, I, 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 I stay sure uh, when you, when you, like, teacher, I'm going to Cuando usted encuentra una palabra que empieza por una vocal y la anterior termina con una consonante, tiende a, a, al sonido unirse, ¿cierto? Tiende a... A unirse el sonido, o sea, en este caso, was able, was able. Yes, it's correct. Yes. It's okay. correct. Thank you. Okay. Where? Where? Yeah. So, okay. Let's continue. Um, yes. It's, okay. it's your turn. Okay. Uh, hello. 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 You don't have to answer the survey. Don't worry. Okay. 
Uh, the, the, the idea is only to complete the spaces on the on the sentences on the on the items to check the new vocabulary and to pronounce okay but you don't have to complete the survey okay, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. only pronounce and check the new vocabulary okay because you finished no. right try to watch that mm -hmm. Okay. Vocabulary. We were. Star. Hi. It's Zulma. Insta. Okay. Okay. Empezamos todo de de ahí. Please indicate. Sí. Okay. I see them. Please indicate your level of admin or sitting with the following statement. See the DC. See the See it. It's okay, Michelle. See it. See it. See it. We were uh, seated. Seated. Uh, we promptly. were seated promptly. Uh, promptly. 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 Promptly, 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 uh, prompt, prompt, promptly, 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 exactly. Sin la P. The server was there to take quickly. Quickly, the server se pronuncia teacher pa patient, paciente, patient, 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 uh -huh. The server was friendly and patient when taking our order. Okay. Yeah. Patient. Uh, patient. Overall, overall, no sé qué significa. Uy, ¿a dónde dice? ¿Dónde? No voy a buscar. Number six. Uh -huh. Ah, overall. Considerando. Es la última. En general. General. Ah, okay. Over the service. Excelente. Service sí, fue excelente. Consider everything for the experience. Oh, vale. Vaya, si quieren comienzo yo y, y, y a pronunciarlo. Vaya. Yes. Yes, teacher. Ok. Eh, dice. <risa> Please indicate your level of agreement or disagreement with the following statement. We were seated promptly. Two, the server was there to take our order quickly. Three, the server was friendly and patient when taking our order. Four, our server coordinated the timing of the dishes perfectly. Five, the server was able to answer all our questions. Six, overall, Overall, 
uh -huh. the service was excellent. And seven, considering everything, our dining experience was a good value. Value. Ah, value. 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 Yeah, it was a good value. Okay. See, we were sit, sit, sit promptly. Two, the server was there to take our order quickly. Three, the server was friendly and patient when taking our order. Four, our server coordinated the timing on the teachers perfectly. Five, the server was able to answer all questions. Six, overall, the service was excellent. Seven, considering everything all dining experience was a good value. Considering everything, considering everything. Considering everything. Every, 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 everything, 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 yes, everything, everything. Uh, my turn. Um, we were seated promptly. The server was there to take our order quickly. The server was friendly and patient when taking our order or server coordinate the timing of the dishes perfectly. The server was able to answer all our questions. Overall, the service was excellent. Considering everything, our dining experience was a good value. Value. <laughs> Muy bien. Good. We were we were seated promptly. Number one. Number two, the server was there to take our order quickly. Number three, the server was friendly and patient when taking our order. For our server coordinator, the timing of the dishes perfectly. Five, the server was able to answer all, all our questions. Six, overall, the service was excellent. Seven, considering, considering everything or dining experience was a good value. Patient, Asalia, patient, all right? Patient, friendly and patient, okay? What is teacher? Sorry? Number three. Yeah, number three. Okay. Friendly and patient, okay? Friendly and patient. Thank Yeah. Okay. Okay, everyone. Okay, everyone. So we are going to check uh, the exercise uh, quickly. All right. And then uh, we go to the next activity. All right. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, let's see. Number one. Let's listen to Michelle with number one. Michelle, can you share number one, please? We were... We were seated promptly. Okay, uh, that's excellent. We were seated promptly. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, Sandra, number two. Sandra, number two, the microphone. The server, the server was there to take all order quickly. Okay, that's excellent. The server was there to take our order quickly. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you very much. Gloria, number three. 
Number six, service was simply impatient when taking our order. Okay, that's excellent. The third bird was friendly and patient when taking our order. Thank you very much. Number four, Ada. Number four, our server coordinator determined on the dishes perfectly. Okay, thank you very much. That's excellent. Okay, uh, now let's listen to Asalia. Number five, just read the, the, the sentence to check the pronunciation, okay? Number five. The server, the server was able to answer all our questions. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, floor, number six. Overall, the service was excellent. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you very much. And number seven, John C. Considering everything, our dining experience was a good value. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you very much. Considering everything, our dining, right? Dining experience was a good value. Thank you very much. Okay, what new vocabulary did you find in the in the items? What new vocabulary did you okay. find? Ah, promptly. Promptly. What else? Seated. Okay, let me see. Seated. Uh, what is the other? Quickly. Quickly. Okay. Quickly. What else? Timing. Sorry. Timing. Ah, timing. Right. The timing. I will. I will. Uh, highlight everything here. The timing. What else? Able. Uh, able, able to. Able. I will. Able. I will. Able. I will. Able to. All right. Be able to is the is the word. La palabra completa es be able to. Okay, but in this case, it's in past, right? Was able to. Good. What else? Okay. Overall. Overall. Uh, overall. That's right. Overall. Overall. Perfectly. Uh, perfectly. Yeah. Okay. Perfectly. perfectly. And what else? Yeah. The interpretation uh, for was a good value. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, it, uh, the, 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 our experience, our dining experience was a good value. Okay. Was a good value. Okay, let me... Let me highlight this. Oh my goodness. I will highlight all the phrase so we check the meaning together. Okay. Uh, what is strongly agree? I strongly agree here. Muy de acuerdo. Muy, muy en desacuerdo. Muy en desacuerdo. Muy en desacuerdo, right? Disagree? Sí. En desacuerdo. En desacuerdo. En agree? De acuerdo. De acuerdo. En strongly agree? Muy de acuerdo. De acuerdo. Ah, de acuerdo. Pero, y en ese caso que viene de strong, de fuerte. In this case, totalmente. Totalmente, that's right. Totalmente I would say totalmente. Totalmente de acuerdo. Totalmente de acuerdo. Oh, okay. totalmente, mm -hmm. de acuerdo. totalmente de acuerdo, exactly. Uh, these phrases are very common in English, okay? I strongly agree, you can say. Yo estoy totalmente de acuerdo. I strongly agree. I strongly agree. Strongly. In, sorry, English. Yes, that's right. Okay, very good. So let's check the new vocabulary. Let's check seated. What is seated? Sentado. Sentado. Okay, we were seated. Fuimos sentados, okay? Uh, promptly. What is promptly? Prontamente. Prontamente. Oh, de inmediato. Prontamente, rapidamente. rapidamente, de inmediato. Rapidamente. Promptly, okay, good. Uh, quickly? Rápido. Rapidamente. The same, rapidamente. right? They're synonyms, okay? Promptly and quickly are synonyms, okay? The timing. Our server coordinated the timing. Tiempo? El tiempo. El horario, like el the time. tiempo, el momento. Yeah, the time. Uh -huh. The timing is el tiempo, okay? The no timing of. Uh -huh. Sorry? Lo siento, lo siento. Uh, perfectly. It's Perfecto. easier. Right? Perfectamente. Perfectamente. Normalmente, esas palabras que terminan en L y en español se traducen como con el mente, okay? Prontamente, perfectamente, rápidamente. Ese el guay. Esa L y al final, ¿ok? Uh, the next. The server was able to. Able to. What is able to? No. Responder. Responder. Capaz de responder. Ah, fue capaz de? Responder. Responder. De responder todas las preguntas. That's right. Esta palabra es be able to. 
Ay, that's right. The real word is be able to. Be able to. Pero acuérdense que el be tiene su forma en presente y en pasado y se conjuga, right? For example, am, is, or are in the present. And in the past, was, or, or where. El was o el where in the past, okay? So you say, I'm able to, is able to, or are able to. In the past, was able to, or were able to. Okay? Ah, o sea que el be es, es sim, al was de su pasado. Exactly. Uh, so be able to es ser capaz de. Ser capaz de. All right? Ah, okay. Be able to is the phrase. Okay, the complete phrase. Good. Uh, okay, let's continue. What is overall? Sobre todo. Sobre todo or in general. In general, in general, in general okay. Overall, the service was excellent. In general, el servicio fue excelente, okay? Overall, right? Overall is a transition word, así como then, uh, like afterwards, the same, it's a transition word, okay? Se llaman transition words in English. Um, now, let's check this. Transition words. Our value, I mean, our, our, what? Our dining experience was a good value. Our dining experience was a good, Value. How do you say this in Spanish? Esta experiencia de cena fue. Ah, so, la experiencia yeah. en la cena fue. Esa parte good value de buen porque value es como precio, no fue, valor, ¿no? Ajá. Fue de, buen, fue de buen valor, no. Fue de gran valor. De gran valor you can say de, de gran valor. valor. De buen valor, de gran valor. Uh -huh. That means that means that we appreciate it, okay? It was really good. That's the intention, okay? Our dining experience was a good value. Okay, fue de buena calidad, incluso pueden decir, was a good value, okay? Fue de buena calidad, okay? So you can say that in Spanish, okay? It was a good value. For example, you can say, the car, this car is a good value. You can say, this car is a good value, or this cell phone. This cell phone is a good value, you can say. Este teléfono es de buena calidad, okay? Yeah, it's a good value. Okay, so we check the vocabulary, um, we pronounce, all right? So that's very good. Now let's go to the next activity. Now listen, in the next activity, we are going to do two things. First, you are going to answer the questions individually. And second, you are going to discuss the questions in groups. But first, you need to answer the two questions, okay? Question number one, this is the same on page number 23, okay? Page number 23. So answer the two questions. Question number one. Are satisfaction surveys a good way to make sure procedures are followed in the restaurant? Okay. Are satisfaction surveys a good way to make sure procedures are followed in the restaurant? Son las encuestas yes. de satisfacción una buena forma para asegurarse que los procesos ¿Se siguen en el restaurante o son seguidos en el restaurante? All right, that's question number one. You say yes and you explain, right? Yes, no, and you explain, okay? So you need to explain your answer. Question number two. Do you consider placing posters or putting? Placing or putting, okay? It's the same. Do you consider uh, putting posters about procedures in strategic places, in different places in the restaurant, will help employees follow those procedures? Okay. Yes. Consideran que poner posters o carteles acerca de los procedimientos en lugares estratégicos ayudará a los empleados a seguir esos procedimientos? So that's the question. If you say yes, explain your answer. Okay. A short explanation. Yes. Una explicación yes. corta. A short explanation. Okay. Okay. So please take five minutes and answer the two questions. Take five minutes and answer the two questions, please. Page number 23. Page number 23, activity three, okay? Page number 23, activity three. So we have five minutes for this.
Are you ready? Or you need more time? Do you need more time or more time? Okay, so I'll give you, I said five minutes, right? And I gave you five minutes. So I'll give you three more minutes, are okay for you? Are three right. minutes okay for you? Yes? Okay, three minutes, three more minutes. Five, <laughs> I like saying five, I think. I will pass you the attendance while you continue working, okay? Ada? Present. Adriana? Ana Michelle? Present. Angela? Present, teacher. Darwin? Present, teacher. Gloria? Here. Present. Soy Adriana. Adriana. <laughs> Me, teacher. Okay, Flor. okay, Adrian. Flor. Present. Okay, okay, thank you. Gloria. Yes. Joanna. Me, teacher. Okay. Lourdes. Margarita. Mayra. Miguel? Present. He's connected. He's busy, I think. Okay. Nelson? Nelson? Nelson is not connected. No, right? Yeah, he's connected. Okay. Um, Ophe Ophelia? Okay. Osmin? Present. Rafael? 
Rosa. Present. Rosa le falta el midterm, ¿verdad? No, teacher. Bueno, revisé como, revisé como a las siete y media, pero estaba pendiente. No, no si ayer, antier lo hice. Ok, voy a revisar otra vez entonces. Let me check. Okay. ok, Susana. Susana, le falta el midterm también. Present. Le falta el midterm. Ok, okay. Y, Ok, para que lo completemos ahora, ok. Ok, yeah. Please, ok. ¿Y quién más? Vamos a ver, Ofelia. Ofelia, le falta el Mitchell también. Flor. Ya está completa la tarea, pero está con un puntaje algo bajito, creo yo, la de esta sección, para, para nivelarla, ok. Ya estuvo la pobreza. Sí, teacher, todavía estaba tratando de terminarla para que me quede el 100. Ok, ahorita aproveché para, para recordarles a los que, más o menos a los que vi que le faltaba algo, ok? Con los demás no hay ningún problema. With the others, there's no problem. Ok. Ok, let's continue with the attendance. Sandra? Sandra? Present teacher. Jansi? Present teacher. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Jansi? Present. Ok, thank you. Zulma? Here. Azalia? Present. Ingrid? Susana, yes, right. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, so are you ready to answer the questions right now? Don't say no, please. Don't say no, I gave you 11 minutes. All right? I said five minutes and at the end, I gave you 11 minutes, all right? Yes, yes. Sir. Yes, right, okay. So listen, we are going to make it simple, okay? We are going to make it simple. The idea is to discuss the questions with different classmates, okay? So just take turns asking and answering the questions, yeah? So imagine Rafael, Ophelia, and Gloria practice together. So Rafael can ask Ophelia, Ophelia can ask Gloria, and Gloria can finish asking Rafael, okay? And you finish like that, yeah? Uh, the idea of working together is helping each other, okay? La idea de trabajar juntos es que se ayuden mutuamente. Si alguien se ha equivocado en algo, que... <coughs> perdón, que le apoyen los demás, ¿ok? So the others can help and can correct. También le pueden corregir, ¿ok? The idea is to learn and to help each other, ¿ok? So any question before we go and practice? No? Uh, just, just before we go and practice, um, let's, let's see the pronunciation of the questions, ¿ok? Question number one, the pronunciation is, are satisfaction surveys a good way to make sure Procedures are followed in the restaurant. Listen again. Are satisfaction surveys a good way to make sure procedures are followed in the restaurant? Question number two. Do you consider placing posters about procedures in strategic, 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 strategic places will help employees follow those procedures? Listen again. Do you consider placing posters about procedures in strategic places will help employees follow those procedures? Satisfaction, okay? Satisfaction surveys, satisfaction surveys. All right, so the questions are on page number 23. So let's stay some time and let's go and practice the questions, okay? I will give you like four minutes or four or five minutes for this. Okay, let's go and practice.
Repeat me, please, Ophelia. Yes. I. Rostra is a considered important. Ah, okay. Okay, excellent. Okay, mm -hmm. your turn, Ophelia. Your uh, answer the question at Osmin. Okay. Osmin, are satisfaction so su su very a good way to mark and sure a procedure are for foreign in the restaurant? Okay. Uh, yes, because commerce information is important. Okay. I do consider a, a pleasing poster, a bus procedure in the strategies, a place with hill, a project for gray, dosa proceeds. It is very helpful to the server. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's answer the question at Sulma. Okay, Sulma. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, survey a good way to make sure the city are followed in the restaurant. Uh, I think yes, because it's a good way of know how client perceive the service in the restaurant, and they could help to identify improvements point. Okay, second question. Do you consider placing poster about procedure, procedure is strategic? Please will help employees follow those procedures? Yes, I do because the poster reminder. I think it means them to get familiar with the procedures. Okay. Okay, ask me, Ada, please. Okay, okay, Rafael. Are, are such satisfaction surveys a good way to make sure procedures are followed in, in the restaurant? Yes, taking into account that the procedures are included in the survey. Okay. Do you consider placing poster about procedure in a strategic place to help employees follow those procedures? Yes, this will help them to constantly remember the procedure. Okay. okay. Uh, are satisfaction surveys a good way to make sure procedures are followed in the restaurant? Um, uh, yes, because that information helps to have an idea that the procedures are done correctly. Okay. Do you consider placing posters about procedure in a strategic place will help employees follow those procedures? I consider that this measure is fine because it helps employees to put them into practice correctly. Teacher, it's a strategy. Strategic. 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 Yeah, the thing is that it's, this is strategic, right? But a strategy is a strategy, strategy. But this strategy. is strategic, strategic. Is the, strategic. Uh, the, is the same? It's the same? Uh -huh. The same word, but different pronunciation. Uh, no, it's the same word, but different uh, grammar purpose, different grammar purpose, because a strategic is an adjective. 
and a strategy is a noun. So they have different grammar purpose. Tienen diferente propósito gramatical, ¿ok? A strategy es, que es, es un adjetivo y a strategy es un sustantivo. Uh -huh. okay, thank yeah. La frase es dije... tomando en cuenta. Sorry. Uh... Sí, sí. Disculpe, siga. No, no se va. Eh, en este caso, sí se pronuncia la I. Is. No, strategic, strategic. Is. No, strategic. Strategic, solo la S. Strategic, uh, strategic, 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 strategic. Okay. Yeah. Strategic. Strategic. Es que el primer sonido vaya en la S, cuando va la S al principio, en muchas palabras existe este caso. Solo se hace un, solo se le hace strategic, strategic. Ajá, strategic. Ajá, strategy, strategy, strategy. Es como shh, shh, strategy, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Ya, yeah, okay. sí, es que yo le, le escuchaba y strategic. No, no, por eso es que strategic, 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 strategic. Uh -huh. Ok. La frase tomando en cuenta en inglés. Two forms. Take into account or taking consideration. Taking consideration or taking... Take, take into account. Take into account. Okay. So two ways to say this, all right? You finished? Yes. yes. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, I hope everybody finished, okay, with the questions. All right, uh, maybe just some things uh, to say uh, quickly, some things to say quickly uh, for the, um, for this vocabulary. Okay, let me, let me, let me go up for the questions, right? For the questions you were practicing. Uh, for place, okay, but you can tell me teacher, but place is a, is a, is, is lugar, okay, place. Is lugar, me pueden decir, and you are right, y tienen razón, place is lugar. Como sustantivo, pero como verbo, place es como localizar o poner, ¿ok? Localizar o poner, como un verbo. Puede ser un verbo también, no solamente un sustantivo, ¿ok? So, en este caso, placing, do you consider placing posters? It's, consideras que poner carteles, o ajá, poner carteles acerca de los procesos. So in this case, place is like poner, okay? Yeah, ubicar. Okay, so this is just for you to, to know. Okay, so, um, so thank you very much for taking the time to practice the questions and now we are going to the next activity. Listen, in the next activity, you are going to check the definition for five words. I repeat, you are going to check a definition for five words. Now listen carefully. I will um, suggest, I will suggest two dictionaries, okay? I will suggest two dictionaries. So check the two dictionaries and get the best definition or the definition you consider uh, best, all right? Or the best definition, yeah? But it's up to you, okay? So I will send a Cambridge dictionary and an Oxford dictionary, okay? Two kinds of dictionaries. So you make the decision. Ustedes toman la decisión. You make the decision. If you want to take uh, the decision from the Oxford Dictionary, it's okay. Okay. If you want to um, get the definition from the Cambridge Dictionary, it's okay. No problem. Okay. Yeah. So it's your decision. Yeah. Any question? I will send. Uh, 
I will send the dictionaries here on the chat, okay? So let me send the dictionaries, please. Yes. Yes, and you write one definition, okay? Only one. Only one of the, uh -huh. one definition from one of the dictionaries. Choose definition, choose definition. Yes, you select the, 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 the definition and the, and the, yeah. So you check the, the same word in the two dictionaries, right? Van a revisar la misma palabra en los dos diccionarios y eligen la mejor definición. You choose the best definition according to your perspective, according to your point of view, all right? De acuerdo a su punto de vista. Yeah, according to your point of view. Any question? Ahí les mandé ya al chat, los dos diccionarios. I just sent the, the dictionary space. Can you see them? Eso iba a decir yo. Can you see them? Yes, can you see them? Ya los pueden ver. Aquí en el chat de Zoom se los mandé. Ah, no lo veo. In the Zoom chat, in the Zoom chat. In the Zoom chat. In the Zoom chat. In the Zoom chat. Ahí en el chat de Zoom se los mandé. No, teacher. No, teacher. Ah, es que solo se los mandé a Mayra. Okay. Es que solo se los mandé, se los había mandado a Mayra. Ok, ahorita sí. Ahorita sí, right now. Yes? Yes. Okay, let me send the other. Okay, there you go. Oxford and Cambridge, okay? Yeah, did you receive them? Yes? All right, let's go to practice. Yes. Uh, remember, you need to include only one definition, okay? Check the, two, check the, the, the same word in the two dictionaries, but select one definition, okay? Very good. So let's go in, let's work in groups. Just let me recreate the groups, all right? Just let me recreate the groups. All right, let's go. Oh. Oh, sorry. I, oh my goodness. I almost forgot. The vocabulary, the vocabulary is, oh my goodness. Let me, let me show you. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm going there. Ahorita voy, I'm going there. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? The vocabulary is on page 24, activity four, okay? Dispenser, dirt, designated, sink, and thought of, okay? So this is the vocabulary on page number 24, okay? Now let's 24. go to work. Page 24. Okay. Otra vez, teacher. In yes. Room do, do. Oh, I see. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Let's go. A cual grupo, teacher? I just sent you the invitation. No puedo. Didn't you no receive puedo. the invitation? No puedo entrar a algún grupo. ¿A qué grupo me designo? Ok, le voy a decir, Gloria. Gloria. Ni yo, teacher. Yo en group, no, group number five. Five. ¿Quién más no puede? Well, that's, well, Sandra. 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 Sandra is in group number four. Osmin, which group? Dispenser. 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 We share the página o, o lo leemos? No sé, ahí vean. Ok. I'm sharing. Ok. Okay. No están viendo otra cosa, ¿ves? Este es otra. Okay. Pero dijo que buscáramos el, el yes. significado en inglés yes. o la traducción. No es de traducción. Es que ahorita la traducción es dispensador. 
Ajá. Ajá. Entonces, el, significado. Que, el significado de la palabra de las dos, ah, en los okay. dos diccionarios y vamos a elegir cuál es la, la descripción más adecuada. Ok. Definition. Definition. Ah, definition. Uh, definition. Ok, dispenser. A machine o container holding money, drinks, paper, towels, ¿cómo se dice etcétera en inglés? Etcétera. 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 Ok. Then you can obtain quickly, for example, by pulling a handle or pressing buttons. ¿Puedo ir copiándolo aparte de esto? Para ir viendo. Ok. I find... I find... Fine. The idea. Okay, okay, listen. Uh, the idea is that you check uh, the, the same word in the two dictionaries, okay? And yes. then you, you compare the two definitions and you choose one. You select one definition, okay? And you write it. Yeah? So okay. check the other dictionary. I mean, the, the other dictionary I sent. The okay. same word, dispenser. Check dispenser in the other dictionary. And you select one definition, okay? Okay. In you Cambridge... check both. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's on the chat. Mm -hmm. Okay. I find in the Cambridge Dictionary dispenser. dispenser is a container or device that gives out measured amount of something. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, a liquid soap dispenser or a tape dispenser yeah i think this definition is more short only that. Uh -huh. and another is more yeah. complete mm -hmm. what do you think ladies uh, Oh, para verlo otra vez. Dispenser. Machine or container holding money, drinks, paper towels, etc. That you can obtain quickly. For example, by pulling a handle or pressing buttons. Like example, a soap dispenser. Okay. What do you think? The first or second? Ahí en ese, okay, en ese diccionario solo escriban la palabra nada más, okay? No es como el traductor. <laughs> It's not like the translator. Yes. It's not, okay, solo escriban la palabra dispenser y le va a tirar la definición, okay? Dispenser. Okay. Is a container or the site that gives or measure amount of something. I show you. Para mí siento que es más, o sea, en realidad como que la definición, la verdadera definición la da el diccionario de Cambridge. Yeah. Porque dice que es un, un contenedor, un recipiente o un dispositivo que... Eh, te da o te emite cantidades, Device. medidas ajá, de algo. Pero en el diccionario de Oxford, de algo. en el un... diccionario de Oxford te pone que es una máquina expendedora de sodas, de, de, de dinero, de bebidas, de, de dinero, papel, de bebida. ajá. que lo puedes obtener rápido. Uh -huh. Es un dispensador. Realmente lo da como... Who is sharing? Who is sharing? ¿Quién está compartiendo? Who is sharing? ¿Qué? Azalia, ¿puedes, que yo? ¿puedes bajar a Azalia, por favor, un poquito? Can you scroll down, please? ¿Puedes bajar? Can you scroll down? Ah, para ver si hay otra definición por ahí. Yes, we have another definition. Pero deja la, deja la definición en English. <ríe> la, es decir, la, 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 
la página en inglés. <risa> hay, hay otra definición <risa> no en el blog que, la que dice a person who provides something for people. Mm, mm, mm. No, no, es que no es el caso del nombre. De que sea un... ¿Qué? Un... Quiero ver. No, it's, sea... not a, it's not a person, it's a machine. It's not a person. Ajá, eso es lo que dice Ajá. acá como una persona. A day dispenser para mí. Por mí. Ok, decide. Make the decision. Make the decision. A day dispenser. I think that can brush. Because it's... Aquí dice un deal. No, ok. Sí, por eso está el dictionary, porque hay many, many definitions, and we have to get one. I, I understand that way. It's correct, teacher. No, because think is a, when you wash your hands, and you can put the definition bajar o sumergirse, I don't know. I don't know if I, if I don't. O sea que podemos, en cualquiera podemos usar la que más se acomode, ya sea del no otro. Que, uh -huh. We have to get the... Mm. El otro, ¿Cómo se llama el otro diccionario? Cambridge, sí. dijo. Sí, en ese la encontré. Ah. ¿Cuál es ese de, de a mold that is fixed? Let me find. Let me find the canvas. Hmm. A mold that is fixed to the wall in a kitchen or bathroom that you wash this with your hand. Uh -huh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, think a bowl that is pictures to the wall in the kitchen or bathroom that you wash dishes with your hands. For me, is that think like a noun, regadero pila. This, this is like a noun, but if you use like a verb, think it's to go or may go under the surface of a liquid and fall toward the bottom. It depends the meaning of the word. If you use it like a noun or you use it like a verb. Let me encontré about does. Where, about? Uh, the definition that put, uh, put Joanna in the chat. Oh, let me see. What is the... Joanna. Uh, uh -huh, a bowl that is fixed to the wall in a kitchen that you... Uh -huh. Mira, pero el, el Cambris también me dice... Es que sin es hundirse. Sí, pero por eso digo, depende si lo voy a ocupar como nombre o como verbo. Como nombre es donde me lavo las manos. Como as verbo a noun. hundirme. As a noun. As a noun. Ajá. It's a noun. Like, It's a noun. Okay. Ah, es un sustantivo. Noun. Es un sustantivo. It's a noun. Okay. Mm -hmm. In that way, it's a bowl that is fixed. Mm -hmm. ¿Y cómo lo vamos a dejar? ¿Cómo lo dejo? A bowl that is fixed to the wall. Wall. A bowl. Ajá, uh -huh. a bowl. You're talking about, you're talking about of the, the of dispenser. Ajá, uh -huh. dispenser. The first one. I have, in, in offer, I, I, 
a dispenser is a machine but, or a container. Yeah, uh -huh. And now for I have a machine or container holding yes. money proper mm -hmm. uh -huh. There are many, many way, many, many different kinds of dispenser, dispenser the money, dispenser the wash, dispenser the paper towels, the drinks. Uh -huh. There are many, many, many dispensador de soa dice. Mm -hmm. We have a dispenser. Nowadays we have dispenser for alcohol health. We have dispenser for, I don't know, paper. <laughs> hand washing. Hand washing. Hand washing. Hand soap. Hand soap. Soap dispenser. Yes, soap dispenser. Okay, the second word. Dirt. Dirt. Let me find some dirt. dirt. Oh, I have dirt. Any substance that makes something dirty. For example, dust or mud. What is that? Can we say a substance that makes something not clean? Okay, a substance that makes something. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It is completely, and with great attention to the tides, and mm -hmm. Okay. That's all. Uh, if you prefer, read the, the answers, the, the concept, and the describe. Okay. Okay. Floor. Floor, you are the first. Okay. Dispenser, a container or device that give out misdirected amount of something. It's okay, teacher. The pronunciation. Can you repeat it, please? Dispenser, a container or device that gives out measured amount of something. Yeah, measured, measured Me amounts, measured, measured Me amounts, measured. Me Measure, 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 measure amount. Yeah, measure amounts of something. Okay, measure amount. So you finished, right? Yes. yes. Okay, that's excellent. So you can practice the pronunciation then. Okay. okay. Uh, Julio, Miguel. <laughs> Con mucho cuidado. Mucho cuidadosamente. Ajá. 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 Eh, ¿Y el diccionario este cuál es? Este es. Este. Ay, no sé cómo se llama este, pero voy a buscar el otro. Cambridge. ¿Perdón? Este es el Cam Cambridge. Cambridge. Ahí aparece en la esquina Cambridge. superior, en la esquina superior izquierda aparece. Ah, sí, sí. Cambridge. Cambridge Dictionary. Yes, okay. yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Y el grupo de WhatsApp no lo puede enviar. ¿El, el, el teacher? Sorry. 
al grupo de WhatsApp desde la chica. Creo que es. Los diccionarios, the dictionaries. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can send them to you. Es que no tenía WhatsApp open. That's why I didn't send them to WhatsApp. Ah, si no tenía teléfono. Sí. Sí, es que cuando entramos en los grupos pequeños se nos perdió. Bueno, por lo menos a mí se me perdió el chat de general. Ok, let me send them to WhatsApp. No encuentro, chicas, el otro, pero se me ha ido la ingeniero. Bueno, pero tecnología. por lo menos ya, ya sabemos este, cuál es el diccionario que se ha elegido, vamos a decir así, Cambridge, ¿verdad? Voy el de Cambridge. Aquí lo voy a buscar, aquí lo voy a encontrar en el chat. Sí. I, eh, I just send all for it, ¿ok? I send all for it. Este es, ¿verdad? Yes. Vaya, chicas, aquí estamos. Sería la palabra dispenser, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Cómo se pronuncia dicha, de la, la última palabra que es minuciosa? Thoroughly. 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 Vaya, compañeras. Thoroughly. Thoroughly. Are you about to finish? Ya están a punto de terminar. Are you about to finish? Ya yeah, tis. Yeah, tis. Sorry. Sorry. Estamos Man, comparando con nosotros, con el otro diccionario. Ok. Me estoy durmiendo. No, please. Están viendo la página, chicas. No. Aquí. No le he compartido. No. No. La siguiente, wow. to go down or make something go down into something soft. Para bajar o hacer que algo baje en algo suave. Similar, ¿verdad? A las demás. A, la, a esta. Ay, no. Aquí, miren, esta, esta. A bowl of that is fixed to the wall in the kitchen or bathroom that you, that you wash, dishes, your hands, etc. Esa. Esa creo que va a ser. Uh -huh. oh. Un cuenco que se fija a la pared en una cocina o baño en que se lava los platos, las manos. Sí, esa es. Ajá, esa es. Va. ¿La ven bien ahí? ¿O la hago más grande? Un poquito más grande. Un poquito más grande. Va. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. The last word is ugly. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? ¿Cómo? Ahí le va a parar. 
Thoroughly. Ah, pero, ahí les, pero ahí les aparece un... Cuando la pongan, ahí les aparece un speaker. Okay, que ahí pueden ponerle para escuchar. So you can listen there. Ándale. Mm. Pues... Thoroughly. 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 Es cierto. Como silencioso, ¿no? Ajá, silencioso, algo silencioso. Very carefully. Vaya, eso sale en este de Cambridge. Veamos en este. Very much. Completely. Scroll down, please. Hay otra definición ahí. Solo esa está. Eh, esta, la number one, number two. Completely and with great attention yeah, to the number time. Two. Number two. Number okay. two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the definition for the for the word, the purpose of the word. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ahí tienen ejemplos incluso. Wash the fruit thoroughly before use. Ok. The pronunciation completely. 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 Finish. Le repasamos, teacher. Yes. So it's uh, we are going out. I was just waiting for you. Okay. So you can check the pronunciation if you want. Okay. 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 Vaya. Me uh, first dispenser. Dispenser a machine or or container holding money, drinks, paper towels, etc that you can obtain quickly, for example, be pulling or handle or pressing buttons. Et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. Uh -huh. ETC, no, et cetera, okay, et cetera. Et cetera. Yeah. Thank you, et cetera. Next, are we? Okay, dear, dear, any stamp that make something Dirty, for example, this salt or mud. Okay. This this designer is correct. Designer designated. Designated. Okay. Designated. Often perceived to say official that. Somebody, some thing has a particular character or name to describe somebody, something in a particular way. 
Okay. Uh, sink. A bowl that is fixed to the wall in a kitchen or, bar or bathroom that you wash dishes, your hands, etc. Okay. Totally. Completely and with great attention to detail. Yes. Okay. Okay. Finish. Okay. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> See bye. you. Good night. Good night. <laughs> See you later. Okay, the others are coming back. Let's wait for them. Okay, we still have people missing. And they're coming. Grupo de Angela es que no quiere regresar. <laughs> Okay, um, all right. So we are going to share the definitions, right? But uh, we are going to share only, maybe we are going to listen to uh, one definition, okay? For each word. But uh, listen, um, two purposes with this, okay? With this activity, two purposes with this activity, okay? One purpose is, of course, to check vocabulary, okay? To check the vocabulary. I mean, not to check the translation, to check the definition of words, because right now you are in, in intermediate English, okay? And in intermediate English, you are supposed to start checking definitions, not translations, okay? Ah, oh, Bernardo, but the translation is okay for me. I mean, no problem. The translation is good for me. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. But when you check a definition, you empower your vocabulary. Okay, cuando, de, cuando verificamos definiciones, empoderamos más e incrementamos más nuestro vocabulario because we check new vocabulary and more new vocabulary and more new vocabulary. Okay, and we increase our vocabulary. Okay, so that's the idea of working with definitions. Yeah. So my suggestion for you, and I put you to work with two dictionaries, with these two dictionaries, because for me, in my opinion, these two dictionaries are like the best in definitions, okay? Cambridge and Oxford. So you have the resource. Tienen el recurso ahora. Si quieren revisar definiciones, use Cambridge or Oxford dictionaries, okay? Yeah. Uh, so, and I don't know if you could see, but in these dictionaries, uh, you have the, the definition, you have different definitions, okay? Tienen diferentes definiciones. Y tienen eh, el propósito gramatical de la definición. Si es un verbo, tienen una letra B, okay? If it's a verb, or, or it says verb, or le dice verb. Si es un nombre o un sustantivo, les aparece noun, okay? Es el propósito gramatical. Si es adjetivo, les va a aparecer adjective, or ad, adj, I think, okay? So that's important in English. That's very important in English, okay? And besides that, aparte de eso, besides that, También les aparecen dos speakers. Vieron que les aparecen dos o tres speakers, ¿verdad? Dos bocinitas o tres bocinitas, ¿sí? ¿Lo pudieron notar? Did you see that? Yes, teacher. Yes. Sí, teacher. yes. Allí en, en esa bocinita les aparece la pronunciación británica y americana sí, o estadounidense. Americana. Ajá, mm -hmm. ajá, exactamente. So you have the two choices, ¿ya? Yeah? If you want the British pronunciation, no problem. You can listen to the British pronunciation, ¿ok? 
If you want the American pronunciation, I mean, no problem. You can check the American pronunciation, yeah? The most important is to know the pronunciation, yeah? So you have these two resources right now. Ahorita tenemos ya estos dos recursos. So use them, please, okay? So let's listen to the first definition. Volunteers, dispenser. Angela, okay. So let's listen to Angela carefully, please. Dispenser. Uh... Dispenser a coordinate or the device that gives all measure 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 of something amount of something okay a measure amount of something okay that's a something. dispenser okay yes and we have different dispensers right in the that's the Cambridge Dictionary right Angela Cambridge. Um, That's the Cambridge definition. Sorry, the Cambridge definition. Yes. yes. In yes. the Oxford definition, you have the definition and you have some examples, right? What examples uh, do you have in the Oxford? Okay, not, not only for Angela, but for everybody. What examples uh, of dispenser do you have in the Oxford dictionary? Soap dispenser. Exactly, soap dispenser. Money dispenser. Money dispenser. Money dispenser. Yes. Drink. Paper. Drink. Drink. Paper. Dispenser. Yes. Drinks dispenser, paper, paper yes. towel, paper, paper towel. towel. Okay, paper dispenser. Towel. We have different dispensers, right? We have juice dispenser, we have toys dispenser, we have different dispensers. Okay, candy dispenser, candy dispensers are common in malls, right? Yeah, they are they are common in malls. So this is a dispenser. Okay, thank you very much, Angela, for your participation. Now let's listen to the second. Dirt, dirt is the second. Who cool. so volunteers for uh for dirt? Volunteers? Me? Okay, Rosa. Let's listen to Rosa. Dirt. 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 Any substance that makes something dirty. For example, dust or mud. Dust or mud. What is dust? Polvo. Polvo and mud. Lodo. Lodo, right? So that is yeah. dirt. Lodo, yeah, lodo. Dirt, dirt. Okay, very good. Uh, so sometimes you can you can use the word dirty, que es el adjetivo, dirty or dirty. El dirty viene de la palabra dirt, que es suciedad. Okay, so it's the same. Okay, dirt, dirty. All right. So the grammatical purpose is different. Okay, so that is dirt. Okay, thank you very much, Rosa. Dirt. Okay. There's a lot of dirt in my car. Okay, a lot of dirt in my car. Oh my goodness. And it's real for me. Okay, let's listen to number three. In number three, we have uh, designated. Tal vez acá no lo encontraron con esta palabra, solo designate, que es, is a verb, okay? So volunteers for designate. Me teacher. Okay, Osmin, let's listen to Osmin. Okay, designate. The shape to say that somebody, someone, see, has a particular character or name to describe somebody something in a particular way. Oh, okay. Uh, Osvin, can you get closer? Te, se puede acercar más a la compu o al teléfono? Okay, okay. Yo me puse. I repeat. Yes, please. Oh, okay. Okay, impossible to say officially that somebody, some thing has a particular character of name to describe some body, something in a particular way. Okay, very good. So it has to do with assign, designate, okay? Thank you very much, Osmin. Uh, do we have another de definition for the for designate? Me. Okay, let's listen to Michelle. Designate. To choose someone officially to do a particular job. Okay, simple but clear. To choose someone to do a particular job. Rosa, you are designated to present, to present the topic. You are designated to present the topic. Easy, right? Someone chosen to do a particular job, all right? Or Miguel, you are designated to pass the attendance, for example, okay? Easy, easy as that, así de sencillo. Thank you, Michelle and Osmin. Thank you for your definitions. Uh, now let's listen to definition number four. 
right? Sing. Volunteers for this one? Yo, sing. teacher Ophelia. Okay, Ophelia. Let's listen to Ophelia. We sing. I think to go do or mark something, go or order the so far as us watching and not coming but up. Okay, so it's put on a surface, okay, and it has water, okay. So that's a sink, okay. That's what I got. That's what I that I, what I understood from Ophelia. Okay, thank you very much, Ophelia, for your definition. Uh, do we have another definition for sink? Me, me. Okay, let's listen to Sandra. A bowl that is pissed to the wall in a kitchen or bathroom that you wash dishes your hands. Okay, easy, right? A bowl. What is bowl? What is bowl? Un tazón. Un tazón. I, I will say un tazón, right? Okay, a bowl, all right? A bowl. It's like the shape of a, of a tazón, right? Okay, so a bowl that is fixed or placed or put on the wall, okay? In the bathroom or in the kitchen to wash your hands. Okay, easy. Think. What do you think in Spanish? What do you think in Spanish? Okay, it's a noun, exactly. It's a noun, okay? So thank you very much. Teacher. Yeah. It's the same, it's the same. It's the same, it's the same yeah. Asali. Okay, uh, so Ophelia and 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 Sandra, thank you very much for your definitions, okay? And let's look at the last definition, and the last definition is for thoroughly. I like this word. I don't know why. Thoroughly. Esa palabra me encanta a mí. Thoroughly. Or thoroughly. Okay, thoroughly. So volunteers? Yes. Volunteers for thoroughly? Not Sandra. Not, not, Sandra. not Sandra. Not Sandra. Sandra participated. Okay, thank you, Sandra. I know you want to participate, okay? So oh, who said me, teacher? Who said me, teacher? John, John, Angela. Angela, Angela no ha participado. Yes. No, not Angela, another person. Thank you, Angela. <laughs> I know you want to. Susana. Okay, oh, Susana. Okay, teacher, okay. Okay, in Cambridge, is very carefully. Oh, okay, in Cambridge, the definition is very, very carefully. carefully, okay. And Oxford is very much or completely. Mm -hmm. But I okay. like more, very carefully. Very carefully, it's correct. Thoroughly is very carefully, okay? I thoroughly check the homework. I or I check the homework thoroughly, all right? It's like minuciosamente, very carefully, all right? So that's thoroughly, so, thoroughly, sorry. The pronunciation is thoroughly, okay, thoroughly, thoroughly. So I check the homework thoroughly. I listen to uh, Rosa thoroughly, or I listen to Rosa's presentation thoroughly all right very carefully yeah so thank you very much for your um for your great effort to check the vocabulary i know it's not very easy but i mean but we can do it okay so thank you very much for your effort okay and please si hay algunos que no han trabajado de los que mencioné si no han terminado el midterm o si no han completado hasta el 80 como mínimo la plataforma la sección 2 terminarla por favor okay Finish, please. Don't go to sleep. Finish, okay? I finished, teacher. Okay, that's excellent. Okay. I uh, was missing. I was missing three, three items. Right, right, yeah. Okay, so, um, por aquí tenía anotado. Ofelia, ya terminó. Me falta como dos, me faltan, teacher. Ya terminó. Okay, a quien más tenía anotado aquí? A uh, Susana? Yes, right? Yes. Okay, Flor? Uh, me falta la última, okay, no problem. Estoy ahorita. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, just try to finish it. Uh, for the one-on-one -on -one session today, we have Osmin, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, yes. everybody, I don't want to let you go late today. Okay, so thank you for connecting today. Thank you very much. Good night. See you tomorrow. Take care and take a shower, okay? <laughs> no, no, it's nice. Nice. Uh, take a shower. Not this, <laughs> no. not this Saturday. Not this Saturday. <laughs> until Saturday. Night until Saturday. Okay. Yes. Call our mornings. <laughs> okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. Good, good night. night. Good 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 night. Bye. 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 Bye.
Vamos a darle baja acá a Nelson nada más. Ok, sure. Ok, ahora sí, Osmin. So, Osmin, this space is for you. Ok. okay. So, Thank any, you. any questions you have, go ahead. Ok. Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, I, I have clear every day information. Ok. But my problem is in listen. Listen is your problem. Yeah. This is my okay. problem. He also in frasal verb, for example. Okay. And, and bueno, it's principal problem. Mm -hmm. Vaya, este, por ejemplo, eh, el uso, por ejemplo, de, de, de frases verbales. Mm -hmm. Cierto que, que, me, que, me, que me cuesta un poco cómo aplicarla. Bueno. Ok. Muy bien. Eh, sí, sí, adelante, adelante. Bueno, eh, por, por ejemplo, le, le, le voy a mencionar una. Y usted me, me, me corrige si es correcto, aprovechando el tiempo. Ok. Eh, every morning wake up at up, uh, up at Six o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, okay. The fresh, the fresh barber is wake. Yeah. Wake up. Yeah. If we, we are can. talking, uh, if we are talking about phrasal verbs, the phrasal verb is wake up. Ah, wake uh, up. Yeah. Se llama phrasal verb because it's the verb in another word. Okay. El verbo va junto ah. con otra palabra para que tenga significado. So that's why it's a phrasal verb. Okay. So wake up is together. Wake up, like when you say get up, okay? Wake up, get up, for example, okay? Or okay. listen to. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, yes, second example. Uh, I, I get up after some minutes. It's correct? Yes, yes, it's okay. But, but, but in this case, the example is in past, right? It has to be in past. El ejemplo debe yeah. ser en pasado. So you say, I got up, got, porque el pasado de get is got. G O T, got, uh -huh. G O T, and you say got. I got up after five minutes. Me desperté después de cinco minutos. I got up. I got up after some minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's I, past. I mean, the, the, the purpose of the sentence is in past, okay? Okay. Yeah. In past. Um, number three, I, I turn on. The radio. Radio is correct. Yeah, radio. 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 Uh, yeah. I turn on the radio. The radio. Uh, uh -huh. Turn on. So it was, was tur turn on. Or, or turn, turn on. Turn on. Turn on. Turn on is fresh verb. Exactly. It's a phrasal verb. It's like encender. Turn on. I turned on the radio. Uh -huh. Pero sería en pasado el ejemplo, ¿ok? Porque encendí el radio. Ok, ah, I okay. turned on. Como turn es un verbo regular, le ponemos CD para el pasado, turned. Y lo pronunciamos turned. I turned on. Aquí en, en este caso, si quiero decirlo en pasado, voy a decir I turned on. Don, porque unimos el, la D con el on. I turned on I the turned radio. On. Uh -huh. I turned on the radio uh, at seven, for example. Ok. Ok. Eh, but, the, but the phrase verb is turn on, encender, turn on. Okay, turn on the computer, turn on the, the, the laptop, turn on the radio, turn on the television, turn on. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Uh, the last example of the rest of the verb, take, take off my clothes, take off. Yeah, it's correct. Yeah. O sea, yo me quito mi ropa, jet, cloud, como es, take, take off, off my clothes. Okay. Yeah, it's correct. You can say I take off my clothes, or you can say uh, I take off, I take, sorry, I take off my shirt at night. All right. I take okay. off my jeans in the in the what? Af before sleeping. I take off my jeans before sleeping. Antes de dormir. Okay. Me quito los jeans. I take off, I take off my jeans, for example. Okay. O, o, so, solo cambia, digamos, el, el, el objeto. 
objeto. El objeto. El objeto, el objeto de, de la oración. El objeto sería el, el qué. Okay, ¿qué, me, ah, ¿Qué me cambio? Okay, ¿Qué me cambio? La ropa, la camisa, el pantalón. Okay, ¿Qué cambio? ¿Qué me cambio? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Take off is the phrasal verb. Quitarse. Okay, take off. Uh -huh. yeah, take off. Eh, pudiera ser también, I, I take off my hat. ¿verdad? Yes, exactly. Exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. I take off my hat. Uh -huh. Okay, teacher. Eh, aprovechando el, el tiempo que, yeah, yeah. que, que tengo, ¿sí? eh, los conectores, teacher, eso también me cuesta un poquito. Por ejemplo, tuve problemas en, la, en, el, en el examen ¿no? que tuvimos. Uh -huh. que, eh, then, por ejemplo, en Spanish es luego. Luego, ah, ya. Yeah. Luego. Luego. Uh -huh. luego. luego, remember that for these transition words, para estas transition words o conectores, lo que voy haciendo es dar, dar una secuencia de lo, de lo que voy hablando, ¿ok? Dar una secuencia, primero, después, ah, después yeah. de eso, luego, seguidamente, por ejemplo, finalmente, y termino con finally, ¿ok? Es como dar okay. una secuencia de, de, de eventos agregando más información. Uh -huh. Para eso se usan Exacto. los conectores. Ah, ok. Eh, 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 por ejemplo, eh, first, after that, eh, later, then, and finally. Yeah. Finally. Uh -huh. Incluso se puede usar el next. Next, como seguidamente. Ah, next. Y next. next. Equivale a, perdón. Seguidamente. Seguidamente, ok. Uh -huh. Next. Okay. Afterwards también bueno, estaba. Teacher. Afterwards también estaba el afterwards. Afterwards. Después ah. de eso. Ah, ya. Yeah. Afterwards. Ah, el after that y el afterwards estaban ahí en esa posición. Ok. Ok, teacher. Thank you for your attention. Ok, no problem. Uh, yes, just with me. Uh, ok, ya. Yeah. Uh, yo ando una aplicación. Eh, ay, ya no la ando acá. Bueno, pero la aplicación se llama, sí. es, que cambié, es que cambié el teléfono ahora en la mañana, ayer en la tarde, resulta que ya no me cargaba el teléfono, ah, sí, escuché. Ya, normalmente, sí. Escuché. Sí, es que resulta que, pero, eh, bueno, hay una, hay una aplicación de phrasal verbs, si usted quiere aprender más phrasal verbs, se llama phrasal verbs ah, así, es, es, usted, anda ah, Android, sí, usted anda Android o iOS, el celular. Android. Android, vaya. Entonces usted pone en la, le voy a dar acá porque eso es muy importante, en, 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 la, en la Play Store, Ahí donde se descarga, se descarga todo, usted va a poner um, así, phrasal verbs, ¿ok? Y le va a aparecer una okay, aplicación, teacher. le va a aparecer una aplicación que es como un cupcake, que es como un ah, pastelito, como yeah, un cupcake. Okay. Ajá, sí, yeah. con una carita. Entonces, okay. ahí, ahí aparece bien práctico porque ahí puede, le aparece la palabra, una pequeña definición. Un ejemplo, Ajá, y le aparece, no, creo que le aparece la pronunciación también. Ajá, es bien interesante esa, y les apare, ah, le aparecen unos ejercicios. Ajá. Así que okay, si la puede teacher. descargar y quiere seguir practicando los phrases, ah, adelante. Ok. Ah, ok, teacher, le agradezco mucho y que pase buenas noches. Hoy. Gracias. Okay. ok, thank you. Good night. Good night. Teacher. Good ok, night. bye bye. Bye.